The Indian and U.S. Air Forces are set to conduct a landmark joint exercise in South India featuring the B-1B Lancer Strategic Bomber, marking a leap in Indo-U.S. air interoperability despite ongoing trade disputes. The drill will integrate IAF Rafales, Su-30 MKIs, and Tejas jets with the USAF's long-range bomber in mission spanning maritime interdiction to air superiority. The move underscores enduring strategic alignment, even as tariffs strain the $190 billion economic partnership. In a landmark move for India's naval self-reliance, Hyderabad-based Metha Servo Drives has partnered with the Indian Navy to develop 4.5 megawatt permanent magnet synchronous motors for future warships and Project 76 submarines. The indigenous electric propulsion system, optimized for stealth, efficiency and endurance, aims to replace foreign suppliers and power India's next generation, AIP-equipped submarines. The initiative marks a major boost to the Atmanurbar Bharat mission and India's undersea warfare capabilities. India's DRDO is advancing Project Vishnu, a next-generation extended trajectory, long-duration hypersonic cruise missile, ETLDHCM, after clearing initial trials and awaiting cabinet committee on security approval. Designed for speeds up to Mach 8, and ranges of 1,500 to 2,500 kilometers, the scramjet-powered missile employs titanium alloys and silica-based heat tiles to survive 1,500 degrees Celsius. With CCS funding of rupees 5,000 to 7,000 crore, DRDO targets 2028 to 2030 operational readiness, marking India's entry into the Global Hypersonic Deterrence Club. In a major milestone for India's aerospace self-reliance, DG Propulsion's J-40 microturbojet has delivered 43 kgf thrust at 110,000 revolutions per minute, exceeding its 40 kgf rating. During a customer-led military takeoff simulation, the 3.7 kilograms engine, now boasting 250-plus operational hours on the same hardware, showcases exceptional durability and efficiency for UAVs and loitering munitions. Backed by IDX, the Pratik Dowan-led startup targets over 90% indigenous content, marking a leap in India's microjet propulsion ecosystem. DRDO's Project Kusha is emerging as India's answer to the S-500, a long-range SAM system capable of intercepting ballistic missiles, traveling at 4 km per second in aerial threats up to 350 kilometers away. With a top speed of Mach 5.5 and hit-to-kill precision, Kusha can neutralize IRBMs, hypersonic glide vehicles, and stealth aircraft at altitudes of 30 kilometers. Developed with BEL and private partners, the Rupees 40,000 crore project is slated for user trials by 2027 and induction by 2028. India's Rs. 56,000 crore Future Ready Combat Vehicle Project seeks to field 1,770 next-gen main battle tanks to replace aging T-72s. Promising AI-assisted targeting, hybrid propulsion and advanced protection, the tanks are priced at Rs. 32 crore per unit, though analysts warn real costs could exceed Rs. 80 to 100 crore. Past Arjun overruns and shifting warfare trends, where cheap drones and precision munitions devastate armor, raise doubts over the project's viability in future conflicts. The Indian Army placed an emergency rupees 10 crore contract with Inside FPV for FPV kamikaze drones to rapidly bolster frontline strike capability. The Gujarat startup's loitering munitions, costing about $400 each in bulk, reach 250 km per hour, greater than 15 km range, 25-minute endurance and carry 1 to 2 kg warheads. Emergency power spent procurement. Initial batches will arm specialized army units. The deal advances India's drive to indigenize drone stocks, 70% target by 2027, and enables scalable, low-cost swarm options.
Zuppa and Divide by Zero, have teamed up to field rapid fabrication container units, airliftable containerized labs that 3D print and assemble drones at frontline bases. Combining Zuppa's autonomous drone designs and AI with DBZ's large format printers, the units can produce fuselages, wings, and chassis on demand, enabling repairs or new UAV builds in hours. Driven by Army needs of around 1,500 to 2,000 drones per day per core, in high-intensity conflict, prototypes arrive within months in operational use by 2027. The system cuts supply chain vulnerability, speeds mission-specific customization, and scales unmanned operations while keeping high-tech avionics and sensors domestically produced. Barrett Electronics Limited and Larson and & Tubro have outlined a lean investment strategy for India's AMCA program, capping spending at rupees 100 to 200 crore over five to eight years by leveraging ADA's existing testing and assembly infrastructure. Bell CMD Manoj Jain said the consortium's bid, one of seven for the rupees 79,000 crore fifth-generation fighter contract, focuses on integration and avionics without heavy capex. The approach supports five AMCA prototypes by 2030 under the rupees 15,000 crore prototype phase, positioning BLLNT as a strong contender blending, LNT's airframe expertise with Bell's electronics and EW systems legacy for indigenous stealth fighter production. France's Safran SA and India's GTRE are close to sealing a $7 billion joint venture to co-develop a 120 kN thrust class fighter engine for the AMSA MK2 with scalability to 140 kN for future sixth-generation jets. The 50-50 joint venture grants India full IPR and technology transfer, targeting production by 2035. In a strategic pivot, an AMCA prototype, not a modified Rafale, will act as the flying test bed, accelerating validation by up to three years. Ground trials are planned for 2030-31 to 31 in Bengaluru. The engine will feature FADEC, 2100K turbine entry temperature, and 20% higher efficiency over the F-414, powering 200-plus AMCA and TED-BF fighters. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.